Well, well, well. Infinity War did it guys. They went ahead and gave the 725 another fix. Along with this patch, they also fixed the laser beam of a shotgun that you could attach on the FAMAS. That was really giving a lot of players a big headache in Warzone. One thing before I start, I know I'm using an RPG with this setup in the video in the background. And it tends to be a pretty toxic setup, but I figured why not? I'm already using the 725. I might as well go full retard. So just don't flame me in the comments. This fix for the 725 has to deal with the sawed off barrel attachment. With that said, is the 725 still overpowered like so many people claim it to be? Let's find out by diving into each individual change. For the first change, they went ahead and increased the ADS time when using the sawed off barrel. This meaning that it takes a little longer to fully ADS. I know decreasing and increasing can be kind of confusing when talking about ADS. So now with that, it really should not have too much of an impact on your gameplay. It only increased the ADS time by one frame or 17 seconds to be more specific. The second thing Infinity War changed was the mobility you have when using the sawed off barrel. Before the patch, your speed was about 4 to 5% faster than the base variant, and now it's only about 3%. This is another fix that you guys aren't really going to notice. Lastly, the biggest change, or should I say the most significant change, was the decrease to the one-shot kill potential. While before the patch, it was possible to get a one-shot kill at 10 meters, now after the patch, you only have about 8 meters to get that one-shot kill. Using the monolithic suppressor and or the choke will give you an extra meter for that one-hit kill. And hit firing tends to be a little less accurate now too, likely requiring you to use that second shot. So if you really want to be more accurate and have the most range, it's going to require that you aim down sight most of the time. So is this weapon still a great choice? Most definitely. Even with all these fixes, the 725 is still probably the best shotgun you can pick and the most forgiving. With that said, I can really see why people dislike this weapon so much and tend to put it in the noob or camper friendly uh, section. When you have someone crouched around a corner or prone behind an obstacle and are hitting you from 10 meters away, it can become pretty damn annoying. Free for all and search and destroy are where you're going to see the 725 used the most. Those modes are a little campier, so that's obviously where it's going to shine. Whenever Infinity War hits us with a fix for the 725, there's always people that want more or have something else to say. But you guys have to understand how difficult it is to patch weapons like these that have are just so, so cheesy, you know. Everyone wanting different things or going back on how they felt before just makes it more of a headache for them to try and fix. Now, in my opinion, the 725 is still super powerful and will do extreme amounts of damage in the right hands. If you're never going to get this weapon perfect, let's just face it, it's always been a cheesy gun since the first game came out, and it's going to be a cheesy gun for the rest of the game's life cycle. Don't get me wrong, I do think these fixes are headed in the right direction, and we most likely won't see another fix for it by the time Call of Duty Cold War comes. I mean, the last time they patched this gun was... I think months ago, so it's not likely to happen before then. These are just my thoughts though. I would love to hear what everyone else thinks of this gun and what they think needs to be improved. I know this is a quick video, but I just wanted to hit on the main points of the 725 patch. If you made it through the whole video, you'd a real MVP. You have no idea how much I appreciate the views I get. Even though it's a minuscule amount, I still can't thank you all enough for taking the time to watch it. Please feel free to subscribe if you enjoy this type of content, and be sure to give it a like or dislike, I promise I won't get hurt. Anyway, have an awesome day or night depending on where you are. Peace.